Okay, guys, I finished my uh, Pimsleur Lesson 4 for Spanish 1 um, about 30 minutes ago, actually, and then I recorded for 30 minutes, and then I realized, like, the whole point of, like, cutting out the Pimsleur in the middle was so that I didn't speak for another 30 minutes. Um, <coughs> that was weird. So, yeah, I'm really, I'm, oh, fuck, I'm really loving Pimsleur, honestly. Uh, and the, I feel like the way that it's teaching, like, you to, to understand things is, um, is, uh, or the way it's teaching me anyways is not to, like, translate in my head, but to just understand, to, to process in Spanish. Like, throughout the whole thing, like, you're listening in English, but throughout, you, you're never responding in English. There's never... During the entire lesson, you personally are never saying, hello, I am speaking English. The entire time, it's, hablo espanol. Muy bien. I'm actually really tired. Um, I don't, what else did I want to say? I don't know. I'm really excited. Uh, I think, I want to give just like a quick tip. If you happen to come across my video and you haven't, and like you're in the search for for like the best um, polylot information, you're not gonna find it here. Um, but if this happens to be your first video that you've seen, and, and like this is your like f from like this like this is your first start of like finding people who are trying to learn languages. Hello, nice to meet you. Please subscribe. I'd like to get to know you. Um, I'd like to get to know every one of you who wants to learn another language even if you don't want to learn another language if you sp don't speak english i want to talk to you um if you speak english you you, you, you are no benefit to me just kidding i i value everyone um just english speakers less than everyone else just kidding kind of not really kind of i'm kind of kidding <laughs> okay, but anyway, okay, um, yeah, so if you're coming here and you are like looking for more information, first of all, I 100% recommend you go check out uh, Lao Shu 55,000, it's a 505000, his name is Moses, um, and for the past 10 years, he has been on YouTube posting language videos, um, teaching language, and over the past 10 years, he has created his own method of, uh, it's, um, it's, uh, the FLR method, and the best part about it is, like, if you go path through the past 10 years, you see how he created the FLR method, you don't even need to pay for it, I mean, but he does cater it specifically to the, um, the language that you're learning, so if you like, if that's where you're going for your specific like, in the entire lesson, go for it. But like, I'm pretty sure like I mean I don't I don't, I don't know for sure because I've never used his um, the FLR method the official like program. But like his method and I believe he called it the FLR method when he was like making the videos. His method is explained in the videos and it's one of the methods that I'm going that I'm. Um, um, I saying that I'm gonna start applying so what was I doing here I can't remember what this was this was oh this is week one and I'm tracking my Pimsleur language lessons okay yeah so now I just finished day four and I'm going by weeks so he the way he sets it up is like he tracks his progress just so he like but he's also learning dozens of languages at a time like crazy amounts and and that's the type of thing that I'm um here's the thing I found out that we are actually very close to each other in like geogra geographic location and I'm hoping to eventually like pick his brain and talk to him. I want to learn a little bit more Spanish so that I can try to converse with him in Spanish. 
so that we're both working on a language. Because I know that his, I mean, just from watching his videos, his um, Spanish isn't as strong as like his, um, as like his other languages that I've seen him use. But it's it's definitely better than mine, and it's enough to like have a full conversation. So I want to be at that level, and then to like kind of pick his brain about like about the FLR method and and um, and. And uh, if I would be able, if I would find it beneficial, for me, I like. I want to speak Spanish at near native fluency. Um, um, eventually, in my lifetime, I want to be near native in Spanish. Uh, I want Spanish. I want. I want to be near native in my 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 chosen eleven languages. Um, it might actually be even less because I'm not really that attached to French and Dutch. They just happen to be um, included in the language list because of a reason. I'll explain why the languages I've chosen. I think I already have. I just don't know if I've uploaded the video. Or even if I have, it's it's a lot of material. So I'll explain that in a more concise thing. But I have, uh, I have a, a reason and a method. Not a method for choosing them, just a reason for why I chose them. And it and fortunately for me, I picked this um, like this reason for why I'm learning the languages I'm lear learning. I made like I had this reason kind of picked out prior to all of this new information. Like for years, I've known the languages I wanted to learn, and I've just been waiting to like really start doing them. Um, and so, fortunately for me, all the languages like the the main languages I want to learn, I have an emotional attachment to them. So I, I don't have to search for the emotional attachment. Now, I'm, I'm not like all crazy about German um, culture. I have no idea. Like, uh, like, like it's not something that I'm like, oh, German culture. I, I love studying German culture. I see so much German culture. I don't. And I don't study German culture. Uh, but I, def I want to, to like go experience German culture like in a German mindset. Well, speaking German, um, uh, and 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 find the things that I love about about that culture on my own. I want to experience it that way, just as I have experienced um, uh, uh, Hispanic culture through the um, through just the the years that I've spent um, in close proximity to it. But yeah, so for the main languages that I want to learn, I want to be near native in in, in almost all of them. Well, I want to be. I want to be near native in in all of like the ten languages. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe a little bit more. Excuse me. I want to be na uh, near native in in um, all of them. Whether or not that happens is, I mean, not my choice. It's just, well, maybe it is my choice, depending on how, on how much uh, time I put into them. But also to be near native, you have to like be living there, because each year that you like. Well, I feel like each year that, like, people grow and new generations come into, like, older generations, like, like in, even in the same country, like, older generation Americans are, will co be completely oblivious to, like, the, the language that, that people are using nowadays, and, like, they might not understand half of it. So, like, so, I think what I'm going to call, I'm not going to call it near-native fluency. I'm just going to call well, maybe near native, but just like fluency to the point where if I'm in a context where I don't know a word, I know enough of the words and I know like enough about it that I can almost like draw a conclusion about a synonym for that word and then I can then add that word to my lexicon, like just from that knowledge alone, you know? So I'm hoping that, that that I can achieve that. If not, that it is whatever. But I want to um, I do want to talk to to Moses and see if if I could benefit from using the FLR method in my other uh, languages aside from ASL because I don't know if I could like I want to like focus like a full like couple months like only on ASL where I'm not like actively back and forth learning like. Um, other languages because I feel like I don't know I just feel like a language 
because I've used my voice before. I've never used my hands to talk outside of like the general hand usage while I'm talking. But that's not me signing. That's me emoting. Um, See, so yeah, I just want to talk to him and see, like, would it be beneficial, since I do want to learn all these languages and specifically these languages, would it be beneficial to to be working on those in the background just in, like, the off chance that, like, Spanish maybe, like, starts getting a little, like, oh, I need a break from Spanish kind of thing? Or should I, like, give Spanish its time, let it keep going, keep writing that, learn Spanish? That way I've, I've, I've gotten a language under my belt, a second... Um, um, language a foreign language under my belt foreign to me um and then use the flr method uh to a, to approach a new language and and the thing is when i'm doing the flr method i'm going to choose um one main language that's going to be like the primary source of uh like the primary source of what i do of what of what i'm um, of what i learn so like, it, after I learn Spanish, I've got like the the the, the ones on my list are uh, German, Hindi, uh, 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 fuck, German, Hindi, Korean. Fuck, I can't even remember all of them. Icelandic. I might do Icelandic next. Cause that's kind of going towards the 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 region of like where I actually, like, might want to eventually live in the future. So that could, like, get a start on that now. But then there's also Norwegian, which isn't really in the group of languages that have a specific reason for being chosen. I mean, it does have a specific reason, but not the same one as, like, Spanish, uh, Hindi, uh, German, Korean, Swahili. There's one. Um, what else is there? I think that might actually be it. Plus, like, uh, uh, Dutch and French, but those are, like, those are those are electives, basically. I'll explain it eventually. Uh, but I think I might do Norwegian next, because Norwegian is the language of my ancestors, and also, I kind of want to, like, live in Norway for, for a time. I think that could be fun. So yeah, I'm gonna just like see if like maybe working on like Norwegian and then in the background like maybe once or twice a week focusing on on a different language like doing um, a lesson of Pimsleur like like so like like five days like for the weekdays I work on my main language and then on the weekends I start practicing on um, a different language. So I, I actively just do like a Pimsleur lesson, but then the rest of my passive learning will be in the main language so that I'm constantly getting input for that language. Maybe, we'll see. It's, it's all, I'm definitely just gonna focus on Spanish until I get to um, like conversational level. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm done talking. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for checking this out. Um, if, if please, if if you want to follow me on this journey, um, please subscribe down below. Give it a like. Leave me some. Leave me. Uh, uh, um, uh, if you are uh, uh, a Spanish speaker, please leave me some some phrases. Uh, uh, um, some just some common phrases that you might hear daily uh, uh, especially ones that don't have like that that when translated to English don't directly um, like tell you what's happening like you know so it was like 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 idioms kind of like 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 or similes metaphors I don't know Things like that that I can use that don't have um, an English translation or a direct English translation so that I can uh, uh, start to, I don't know, 
whatever. Just put your phrases down in the in the in the, in the down there part. Um, see you later. Have a good day.